Hey, how is everyone? Lou from RV Habit. Who hates the glass or the window on their RV door? I know I do. It's got 1970s bathroom styled obscured glass on it. It doesn't match anything else on the RV and you can't see out of it. So today I'm going to replace it with a window that matches the rest of the windows on the RV and has a shade. Let's get started. So I went with a product by AP Products called Thin Shade. Now on Amazon it's listed as Slim Shade and about a year ago that's what they were called, Slim Shade. Um, I believe it's a marketing change because the part number is exactly the same but it is now called Thin Shade. Uh, it comes packaged really well, nothing seems to be broken, big pieces of styrofoam top and bottom. It comes with an interior window frame, it comes with the exterior window frame that's pre-caulked so all you do when pressure is on this this will activate against your RV so there's no glue involved or anything like that and the window is already set in the frame with caulking on the exterior frame comes with the shade for the center and some mounting screws shouldn't be too difficult first thing we'll do is take off the old window so on the inside of your RV door, there are 16 screws holding this frame in that pulls pressure on the outside. There's no screws on the outside. So you're gonna remove all 16 of these screws and pop the window out. So the interior frame's off and I wanna push slowly and hold it so I don't lose the window. And it should just pop right out. There we go. Perfect. So now that the frame's out, I'm going to clean this up with a little Windex. And if you have any glue left, you could probably use like Goo Gone or or something like that, or some rubbing alcohol. Uh, we'll just clean that up. So the new glue sticks well. So the next step is to prep the new window to go in. Now this is the interior frame. And as you'll notice, it has a thick black piece here. That's to hide the top of the shade. And a small black piece here with three weep holes. This is the bottom, this is the top. So we're just going to install the shade and there's clips here. Now the shade also has a handle on it. The handle goes down or facing the inside of the frame. And we'll just snap this in place here. And then snap the bottom in. Now, what I would recommend to keep this all together while you're installing it is to use some clear packing tape to hold this in place until you get it on the window. And I recommend clear because you will see this from the outside and you will not be able to remove the tape. This way if it's clear you won't see it. And that'll just hold the shade in place while you're installing it. And this doesn't have to be real strong, it's just want, you're just using it to hold the shade in place until you get the window installed. The window itself, once it's attached, will hold the window, uh, the shade installed. So let's do the outside. So this is the new outside of the window and even though it's glued in, it, you can actually push it off. So what we want to do is put some blue painter's tape on the window in case it decides to pop off. Hopefully it'll give me enough time to catch the window and not break. So this should be enough to hold it in place while I install it. Let's go back over to the RV. So ordinarily you would center the new window inside the hole. I have a painted RV. So I'm gonna actually center However the window was put in prior to this, I'm going to center the new window to the paint line on the RV door. Now this is tempered glass. When you're looking at tempered glass, there should be a stamp in the lower left hand corner. 
That's the bottom. So I have it centered to the paint line as best I can. It's a touch smaller than the old frame, so you can see that. So I might have to go around this with some black caulk just to cover that white line. But the, the caulking that's on this, if you give it a little press, it seems to hold pretty well. But we're going to just put some painter's tape on there just to hold it in place while we install it. Just to make sure it doesn't fall out. So we have the outside in. The next step is to put the inside frame in with the shade. We're going to just loosely lay it in here. Now make sure you use the screws they supplied. These screws are designed to bottom out so you can't put too much pressure on this frame and crack it. So we'll just need to find the first hole which will be the most difficult. Okay, that's one. Get one over here. Okay, now I'm going to hand put in the rest of the 16 screws, then we'll go around and tighten it. All 16 screws are in and just uh, just started so I'm going to pick a corner and slowly work my way around till each screw bottoms out. Do this by hand, do not use a power driver and you'll see actually the window being pulled in and you'll feel the screw bottom out. Take your time nice and easy. You want to pull the window in very slowly so you don't bind anything. And that's it. Installed. And now you have a shade and you can open it up. Let's take the tape off the outside. And that's a look at the window from the inside. You can actually see outside now. And we'll take a look from the outside. There it is, nice shot from the outside. Black glass like the rest of the RV, so everything now matches. If I'm on the inside, I can actually see out that window. And if need be, I can pull the shade. This was a real easy upgrade for under $100. Uh, I purchased it on Amazon. I'll leave a link below for that. I'll also put it on my website, rvhabit.com. If you haven't, don't forget to subscribe, and if you want to be notified of new videos I do, don't forget to ring the little bell. Uh, but as always, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you soon.